As her stepsisters were admiring their gifts, Cinderella took the hazel twig out to the garden. Her mother had especially loved roses, so she planted the little twig next to a beautiful white rose bush. Cinderella wept as she thought of her mother, and as she cried, her tears watered the hazel twig. All at once, the little branch began to grow and grow, and in no time, a beautiful hazel tree stood in its place. A white bird flew onto its branches and sang a tune so lovely and sweet, it eased the sadness in Cinderella's heart. She brought the white bird bits of stale bread every day when she went out to tend the gardens, and every day it sang for her and ate the bread out of her hand. Time passed, and Cinderella became accustomed to her hard labor, almost forgetting that once she too had been a fine young lady with handsome clothes and a soft bed to sleep in. Now it happened that one day. Her stepsisters were especially demanding. The king was to give a grand ball for the prince's birthday, and all the eligible young ladies of the kingdom were invited. Cinderella, where is my fan? Where are my blue shoes? Are my best petticoats clean? Fix my hair. Fetch my fan. Hurry, run! You are too lazy for words. Her stepsisters kept up in this manner for hours, preparing themselves for the ball that evening. Cinderella patiently did everything they asked. Then she ran downstairs and begged her stepmother to allow her to attend the ball too. What you, a dirty kitchen wench, you would be laughed out of the hall. But Cinderella persisted in asking. Until finally, her stepmother grabbed a bowl of lentils from the table, and angrily tossed them into the ashes of the fireplace. If you can put all those lentils back into the bowl in two hours, you may go to the ball. Knowing the task was hopeless, Cinderella despaired. But then the white bird from the hazel tree flew in the open window. Oh, sweet bird," said Cinderella. If only you could help me! There are so many lentils in the ashes, and I need to pick them all out in two hours' time, so I can go to the ball. At once, the bird began to sing, and was soon joined by other birds from the garden. Starlings, doves, and finches flew in the window.